In the town of Greece versus Galway, the Supreme Court held by a 5-4 to four decision that the town of Greece was not violating the First Amendment of the Constitution by having these prayers before their town meetings. The majority opinion was written by Justice Kennedy, and he was joined by what we see as a traditional conservative majority, Justice Kennedy along with Chief Justice Roberts, Justice Alito, Justice Scalia, and Justice Thomas. In dissent, Justice Kagan wrote the primary dissent, and she was joined by Justices Breyer, Sotomayor, and Ginsburg. The key question that Justice Kennedy engaged with was a question about whether this having a prayer before a town meeting was coercive and also a question it was coercive to people who might not be uh, Christian believers or might not be believers at all. And also whether there was a requirement that having prayers like this, if you have a prayer like this, they must be non-sectarian. That means it must be open to people, uh, to uh, general references and not to particular religious sects. A couple points to take away from this case. One having to do with the question of coercion. There's clearly a lot of discomfort among the justices who are trying to evaluate when someone would actually feel coerced in a setting like this. So Justice Kennedy quite clearly said that in this case, just being offended by something does not mean that you're necessarily coerced by this. Uh, the measure and coercion in this context are very difficult. In this case, uh, Justice Kennedy said the facts of the town prayer in Greece do not rise to the level of an unconstitutionally uh, coercive uh, government endorsement uh, of religion. And the other question has to do with sectarianism. Quite clearly, Justice Kennedy said that uh, non-sectarian prayers are not required. That is to say that in this case, you can have sectarian prayers. The key requirement for government is that they don't discriminate between different religious um, faiths. So different religious faiths can have prayers at these uh, meetings as long as the town is not picking and choosing between these uh, religious faiths. One of Justice Kennedy's concerns with uh, a possible standard of only non-sectarian prayers would be the role that the government would have in choosing which prayers were allowable and not allowable. The idea that government could choose that this prayer was uh, sufficiently non-sectarian and this prayer was not sufficiently non-sectarian seemed to indicate to him uh, a problematic role of government picking and choosing between different, uh, different uh, religious uh, expressions and that was a role he thought government should not uh, play should not be taking over here so the idea the principle that he embraces is a non-discrimination principle on the other hand the dissent Justice Kagan really emphasizes the value of equality the concern that all citizens who come before a town council will feel equally a part of this particular uh, governmental institution and the concern is that if you have a sectarian prayer that someone might uh, feel that this town council meeting is not actually uh, representing them as fully as it might be representing believers of the particular religion uh, being discussed in the, in the prayer. And therefore, she emphasizes the uh, principle of uh, openness of these governmental institutions and the need to ensure that all people who are in the audience feel to have uh, an equal stake in the outcome of this particular proceeding.